Hey, what's up everybody? Tyler from 10 Thumbs coming at you with another lesson, all right? Today we're going to be learning how to finger pick or play finger style. The goal of this lesson is to get you away from the strumming and into something more like... Okay, now this is actually going to be a five part lesson. It's going to be five different patterns. So for the next five weeks, you can learn one pattern and come back a week later and learn another one, okay? This, you can apply this style to any song you already know. You can use it to write your own music. It's really versatile. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So, without further ado, I would like you to grab your ukulele, grab your brain, grab your brain and go ahead and follow me on into this lesson, all right? Okay, so this is going to be finger style pattern number one, the first in a series, okay? That's why this one is going to be the easiest one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in the key of C, because I think that's the easiest key. And then I'm going to show you how you can kind of change it up and spice it up a little bit. You count it like this. All I'm doing is I'm putting my thumb on my G string, pointer on the C, middle on the E, and the ring on the A. And when I play it, each finger is responsible for that string and I'm just going walking down the strings and I count it like this I'm also fretting a C chord right now we're gonna be using a C chord A minor F and G7 okay and I count it like this one and two and three and four and so if you're in four four a whole measure sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. Okay? So let's play one full measure of C. We're gonna go to A minor for one full measure, F for half a measure, G for half a measure, and C for half a measure. If that happened quick, it's gonna be really clear right now. It's gonna look like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's the basic drill. That's the part that you should master, okay? You should practice that over and over and over again until it's ingrained. We're going to play it again together. I'm not going to count it, but still nice and slow, okay? Okay, same thing, a little faster, okay? Now, I know this might sound silly, but slower is faster. What do I mean by that? Play it nice and slow and get it under your fingers and you will learn it faster. If you pick it up and you try to play it as fast as you can, You're gonna make some mistakes right away. So the idea is to go ahead and take your time, learn it slow, and then medium and then fast, okay? Now how can you spice it up? Well if you know your no if you know your Roman numerals, you know that the one chord can be a C major seven, the, the relative minor can be a minor seven. can be also major seven, but we're not gonna do that. And we'll stay with the dominant. And check out how different it sounds now. Okay, which is kinda cool. But also, don't be scared to mix it up in your own songs that you know how to play. Maybe something in the key of D, like D, A, G, D. The most important thing is the timing, okay? All right, that was it. Finger style pattern number one. Stay tuned next week and we'll do number two. This is a five week series. We're going one, two, three, four, five. And after we get these five under our fingers, we'll really start to build them up and do some really, really cool things, okay? 
But the first thing is the foundation. Get these patterns underneath you, and then we'll start to talk about adding melody, adding bass, adding motion, and everything, okay? And until next time, hope you have a nice day. Espero que tengas un buen día, and we'll see you later. All right, that was it. That was finger style pattern number one. If you liked it, I'm happy to help, all right? That's the whole idea. We're teaching you everything that you need to make the music that you want to make. Go ahead and follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, right? We're doing a lot of cool things. We're taking photos. We're jamming. It's all good fun. If you have any requests, please send them to us because we want to do our best to help you make the music that you want to make, all right? This isn't about the music I want you to learn, it's about the music that you want to learn, all right? That's the whole idea. So, and if you haven't, subscribed because the more you subscribe, the more your inbox is going to be filled with all kinds of fantastic videos. Okay, and until the next time, just keep on practicing 10 minutes a day, you'll be rocking in no time.